So in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can create better roleplay outfits for any job in any Roblox roleplay game, whether that be a police job, a firefighter job, or maybe even an ambulance job, or whatever job you want to do inside of a roleplay game. So if you do enjoy, make sure you drop a like and also subscribe, but let's get straight into this. So in most roleplay games, oh, okay, in most roleplay games, uh, every game has default uniform that you can use and a lot of them also have uh, default tools which you can also use so for example if I join onto the police team or the sheriff team because the police is full in emergency response to the county which is the game I currently am in and then if we go over and head over here you can see we have all of these different uniforms so you can't get the Halloween uniform we've got the SWAT uniform detective uniform with jacket and then the standard uniform then in gear we have loads of gear we have uh, SWAT stuff we have we have binoculars uh, shields police tape flares pepper spray taser stop tip bag shotgun uh, loads of different stuff like that even a riot shield and stuff like that which you can use so there are loads of tools built into the game but the uniforms are quite basic for example if we go with this we don't have any belts or we don't have any guns that we can use like by having them on our outfit and you can see these are all 2d they're not very 3d there's nothing crazy detailed about them but if you go you might have seen uh, sometimes you see people in these roleplay games with really really cool outfits um, that you really want to do and I'm going to show you how you can create them. now for most of these you will need robux for, obviously because they are UGC items which are developed by players of Roblox uh, that you can buy and you can wear in any Roblox game you want. So the first thing I'm going to show you is simply by going over to the catalog here and as you can see I've simply searched up police and you can see how many things have popped up here. So straight away we've got this belt. So if I open this in a new tab this will go on and you can already see it just adds more 3D stuff. So we've got like 3D handcuffs here, we've got like a 3D little radio, we've got like a I think that's a baton like there 3d and it wraps around and you can actually see it like it's not just like an image on a shirt and this is 70 robux i own this and i'm going to show you some of my avatars that i've made as well uh, for different things over the time that i've played on some roleplay games but you can see there's so many things here you've got all different ones for different avatars as well like you've got this and you've got some uh, r throw things here you've got some r15 ones like this one for example and then you've got some r6 ones like this one uh, and this one here as well then you've got these right shields as well uh, and there's loads of stuff you can buy if we scroll down here look you can even see stuff like this like look how cool that is or you've got like a little secret service earpiece which you can wear uh you've got loads of different stuff here and as we get further down this kind of goes into more military stuff you can see there's loads of different versions of shields you can even get one on your back if you really wanted like that one but just by scrolling through here you can find loads and loads and loads of really really cool things now you might see in roleplay games like some people might wear this and then some people might have a police helmet they might have the earpiece bit they might have like a gun attached to their waist or something which they can get in ugc they might have this riot helmet which i have and i'm going to show you a full riot avatar it's british based but you'll see how you can do all of it anyway then we have like you can even have a baton on your side if you want like a 3d actual baton which looks really really cool if you look how this is you can see that's really really nice and it's just creating these 3d things uh, or adding these 3d things that other people have created to make your avatar look so much better and there's so many different things you can put on as i've said We've got all these different kind of stuff uh, and they all make your avatar look so much better whereas if we look this belt we've got now similar to the one we looked at but you can see like there's nothing there's not 3d it all kind of is an image and you can see how like the radio even like bends in with my shirt which doesn't look very good in my opinion obviously that is just my opinion and you don't have to buy any of these but if you want to create some better role play outfits i would highly recommend doing that and also if we come here and we search maybe ems then we might get some other things <laughs> okay i'm not sure what they are not quite about this things, but you can see we've got an ems cap and we've got loads of different ems t-shirts and stuff here and if we search up firefighter we might get some things on here so yeah we can see we've got like an axe we've got some helmets we've got like a fire extinguisher which is a tool i believe um and you can attach this fire extinguisher to your back which looks really cool you can attach a fire hydrant to your back if you really want we've got these uh r throw firefighter pants which i think look really really cool and the jacket as well that's really nice uh i'm not sure what that is but i'm not sure who's gonna spend twenty-seven thousand robux on that i know i definitely wouldn't but we've got like the full backpack here you can see as i said we've got axes we've got different breathing apparatuses or whatever they're called uh, and all different kind of stuff here and you can look a lot more in detail to it if you wanted as well uh, and you can find different avatars and you can even search up like on google like avatars for these games or just join like a really professional role play server on any game maybe erc in the private servers you just join a really professional
international one or a really big one and look at what the police are wearing or the firefighters or their ambulance people are wearing and you can just take ideas you can search up their username if you see someone wearing something you want in here you can go to the avatar you can see what they're wearing and you can purchase it if you really wanted to if you really like it um but yeah so that's kind of the main ways to find your uh, own kind of role play outfits but i'm going to show you some of mine now so the first one i'm going to show you is kind of an undercover outfit to uh what i have so it is kind of a british based one all of these are british uniforms but you can use most of the same ideas uh like from different uh stuff so you can, like take the belt or whatever i'm wearing on this undercover outfit and wear it on yours so if i reset my avatar here then you'll see what it is like so it looks very very undercover and it's very similar to my current one however it's kind of what undercover uh units in real life wear so you can see i've got like a black shirt on which is my black amaze place merch you can buy that from the description below in my roblox group if you want to and you can see up here we've got like a little nice axe on or as you can see here we've got like a really nice body cam it's really really detailed it's very 3d it's very very nice and you can see that that kind of there and it, from if just by like standing over here and zooming out here you can't at first glance tell that i'm actually wearing anything so imagine if you're in a car and things people won't be able to see if you are undercover and if you're just like walking from a distance obviously the point of an undercover officer isn't to be completely unknown Known. it's just to um be discreet so that people don't notice you at first glance or from a distance but obviously if you're saying you're an undercover police officer and you're like stood right in front of someone then obviously they need to be able to see that you are and you can because there's not really anywhere you can be fully undercover like you can't hide your uh like your radio or your taser or your baton or whatever and this does kind of just look like a belt as well so you could get away with saying it's a belt if you want it to be that undercover but i really really like this one uh, obviously to make an undercover outfit all you need is just some dark clothing yeah have to have dark clothing if you don't want to but i think dark clothing just makes it look a lot more undercover i will admit these ripped jeans aren't exactly the most undercover uh, undercover sorry but they are very very nice anyway and you can create some really nice avatars i'll link this and this belt in the description so you can uh, buy all if you want to yourself but let's move on to the next one which is a normal police uniform so if i come over in game and if i reset then you will see my normal police uniform here we go then so this is my normal Normal police uniform. I will admit this is definitely not the best of all police uniforms. This is quite a basic one. It's also quite an old one I used to use when I role played on an old police server. You can see if we go to the front, it's got my name, like my little badge here, uh, which is a maze, obviously. Then it's got my call sign on the side, 127. Uh, it obviously says police. It's got like a little medic thing on the back there. And you can see the handcuffs are 3D on the back. They kind of hang down like that. I think that was really cool. And we've got the same belt that we used on the undercover one. Uh, and obviously, you can see there's handcuffs there, but obviously, if you're buying like uniforms there's loads like thousands you can choose from so you can find one without handcuffs on it if you want to use 3d stuff this one is custom made uh, obviously because it says amazing it has my core sign on it um but obviously you don't have to have a custom made one if you don't want to you can you can find a developer to make you one if you really wanted one it would cost you a bit though so i'm not sure if you want to do that and it'd be quite difficult to find a developer or a clothing designer to do that but as you can see we've got this same belt here this one is pretty basic it's just got my normal stuff up here you could add a lot more to this i could have an earpiece I could have maybe a baton on the side like we saw earlier things like that but overall this one is pretty cool it's just a normal generic not very undercover uniform uh, i think it looks cool if we go outside you can see how that looks see the handcuffs on the back really look nice and good there um but yeah this is kind of the first one you can get rid of this belt if you want to but then obviously it'd just be 2d uh, and nothing special about it but we're going to move on to my favorite one out of them all which is the riot gear one so if i go and put on this riot gear avatar and then reset my character here we go you'll see how how nice this riot gear one is so here we go there we go we've spawned in we've got the riot gear stuff on now so if we come out here you can see there's a lot going on on this one so we've got a very nice default uh uniform here we've got some custom made as well this is custom made right uniform we have got a, a 2d right vest on here but if you wanted to you could get a 3d one like i showed you earlier uh, but this one is nice because it has like the body cam on and it has a taser on there as well uh, obviously the main thing to this is the helmet i showed you this helmet earlier earlier uh, it's very very nice helmet i think it looks 